Taking your career to the next level can be tricky business. And our next guest, Mandy, has a question about just that. So, Mandy, what's your question for us today? Well, I've been working for the better part of a decade as a makeup artist and feel pretty well established in that field. Mm -hmm. But I am also very passionate about personal development and would like to sort of pivot, staying in makeup, but also to start a potential speaking career in helping people as much as I can mm -hmm. to go after their best lives. So Mandy, what's your message? What is the message that you want to get out there with your speaking career? I truly believe that everyone can be a lot happier than they are. I think mm. a lot of people settle for kind of a status quo and don't really live but just kind of follow a path that they think they're supposed to follow even though they're not happy. So for me, I think there are small things you can do every day to be happier and that's mm -hmm. one part of it. And that another part of it is just to get the confidence to really go after something that might be seem crazy but will really change your life and I think girl that's when we tell our dreams to anybody they all seem crazy so the <laughs> great thing about crazy is that it might sound crazy to other people but when it's believable like the impossible becomes possible to us when we want something so bad and you know that what are you doing to get your work out there when you when it comes to mm -hmm. public speaking and getting that message out there to the to the universe to the people that are watching well, I started a podcast a couple of years ago with the message, it's called Bold Moves, and so I interview people who have taken big risks, like quitting their job to start a business, moving across the country or to a new country, mm -hmm. just with the idea that me sharing their stories or helping them share their stories, that someone will see themselves in that person and feel encouraged to do the same thing. With your podcast, how are you promoting your podcast and how are you setting aside the makeup artistry from you, Mandy, as a public speaker and life coach? That's kind of what I'm looking for more guidance on. I haven't been great at promoting it. Well, I was going to ask, what, what kind of makeup do you do? Like, do you do makeovers? Like, what's your specialty? It's primarily for print, commercial, mm -hmm. a little bit of TV, but mm -hmm. more of natural. Well, natural yeah. is like so in right now. Everybody wants, wants <laughs> to look fabulous, but I'm not really wearing anything. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. I, I, I woke up like this, right? Um, but I was just going to say a way to kind of merge those together like say if you do do a makeover for someone mm -hmm. to maybe have someone videotape it mm -hmm. so then afterwards YouTube. like you can yeah create YouTube. your own like YouTube channel yeah. mm -hmm. and then that way you can like say today I did a makeover on someone ask them how they're feeling then turn to the camera mm -hmm. offer some suggestions ladies if you want to have this kind of look you know do this kind of lashes then that way you kind of get comfortable and used to speaking to the camera and then mm -hmm. if you have any questions, you know, ask the people, invite them in. Then that way you start communication and you start building your audience. Then you can drop that little gem on and be like, by the way, I have a podcast. I don't do just makeup. I also do da 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 da. Mm -hmm. So that's a way of promoting yourself twice for your makeup, yeah. that you do wonderful makeovers, and that you help people feel much better about yourself, and also your podcast that you like to do motivational speaking. And then when you get people and you start building up your audience, then you put it out there to people. For women expos, I do a lot of motivational speaking at expos. Mm -hmm. If you ever would like for me to come and perhaps do some makeovers, so you offer your services. You gotta offer a little bit to get a lot more. Right. You exactly. see what I'm saying? So I'll, you offer them their services, and then say, by the way, if, you all, if someone falls out and you need a motivational coach, hey, can I get on stage and maybe try and do a speech for a few moments? The beauty because of empowerment all coming in together with beauty, empowerment, and really building self-esteem and teaching women that beauty resonates from within and being able mm -hmm. to showcase that you know, through the artwork that you do and also through the voice and the visuals of right. really combining storytelling yeah, because, with empowerment yeah. and beauty. Yeah, because not everyone, people say, oh, I want to be, you know, this, this, and the third, until you actually get there and get in front of people and start yeah. speaking, seeing whether or not you can move people, see if people are inviting and want to check you out. Like, you got to take baby steps to get there. You're going to fall down a couple of times and go, yeah. hmm, I could do that better. So mm -hmm. that's why I said to start small by yeah. doing your YouTube and doing your stuff. So then you start seeing how you look to people. Right. Then you can play it back and go, and hmm. Never, ever, ever give up on your dream. Yeah. Yeah. Never. That, that part, too. Thank you so much. All right.